Good morning, dear hearts. We are at lesson 19, obviously a continuation from yesterday. Um, yesterday was I'm not alone in experiencing the effects of my seeing, and today I am not alone in experiencing the effects of my thoughts. Um, we've already learned that thinking the thought always comes first. However, the actual time between the thought and the seeing is so minuscule that it really is happening simultaneously. So it would be impossible to divide that small amount of time um, in, into two different parts because it's bam, it's there. The thought, the seeing, it happens so quickly that we're basically not even aware that there is two different things that have happened in that moment. Um, this lesson continues with the idea, the truth, that all of our minds are joined. We learned that yesterday. It mentioned it again today. And this is why that if um, our, all of our minds are joined, why I am not alone in experiencing the effects of either my seeing or my thoughts because all minds are joined. And so whatever I'm thinking, whatever I'm um, seeing, I am sharing, like it or not, with everyone in the sonship. That's why we, I mentioned the quote about every beneficent thought, okay? Because we are sharing our wonderful thoughts, our happy thoughts, our joyful thoughts, our loving thoughts, and we are sharing the opposite of those. And the reason there's an opposite to all of that is because Currently, we are residing in a dualistic world. And so in a dualistic world, if there is a high, there is a low. If there's a good, there's a bad, okay? If there's a happy, there's a sad. That is where we currently are. But this is why we're doing these lessons because we are building a foundation. Each lesson builds upon the previous ones and the ones to come we are laying a foundation for our spiritual growth. We are weaving, as I say, that beautiful spiritual tapestry that once we have completed it, this is what we will envelop ourselves in. This is how we will wrap ourselves in the truth because that's what we will have established and come to recognize again. This lesson says, um, it's a fact that there are no private thoughts, okay? And that may not be a welcomed idea to, to, uh, to find out, okay? It's like, whoa, no, wait a minute. I want to have a private thought. I want to be able to think something and, and not have anyone else know what I'm thinking. But what we've already learned now, there's no private thoughts. There's no idle thoughts. There's no neutral thoughts. We can't have an idle thought because, or neutral thought because every thought that we have makes or creates on some level. Okay, so this is our, our mind is very active, but it is untrained. And so the untrained mind is chaotic. Later on in this lesson, it, it uh, says lack of order in this connection with the idea of our thoughts um, will ultimately make the recognition of the lack of order of miracles meaning for you, which is the first principle of miracles, that there are no, there, um, there's no order in miracles. One's not bigger or smaller or grander or lesser, okay? All of them are the same. The lack of order of our thoughts is because our minds are chaotic. So our, our thoughts are, neither big nor little, they are simply false. But there's no order in them because we are in a state of chaotic thinking. Um, and this is what we are choosing to undo. We're going to undo this egoic, small mind, limited mind, and move into the the space of knowingness and of um, a wider, more expansive, real, with a capital R, mindset. Um, so that's it for today, okay? I'm not alone experiencing the effects of my thoughts. My, our minds are joined. Every thought 
is equal. It's not, one's not bigger or smaller. They're all chaotic. They all are false, but we're working on it. So um, I hope this helped. Uh, please like, please share, please subscribe, um, please comment, and please be here tomorrow for the next uh, step in this journey. Namaste.